Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are in Good Neighbor. We're exploring Good Neighbor. Okay. Your lady friend there. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journal. Hi. Uh, whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. Hmm. They don't like the Brotherhood. That probably won't go so bad. No. Not gonna risk it. You sticking around, you need to join the crew. I hear Bobby No Nos is looking. Always a cash with the no nos. But she pays. If that's good neighbor, and then that's good neighbor too, right? Yep. So let's go up first. All these doors and all these. Okay, there's something right there. by the memory den later. There was this girl a few months ago. Man, oh man. Who's this dame? Excuse me. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Keep your nose out of my business. <clears throat> you get into trouble? It's your own damn fault. Watch yourself. Only store rooms. How you doing? See, you, can't. you don't want to steal anything. Hi. Nice pip boy. Who'd you kill to get that, huh? Magazines in here. Okay, let's go. Let's go upstairs. People sleeping up here. Room with mannequins. Excuse me. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Ah, I need a place to stay. Try Hotel Ratsford. Real quick. Anyway. Hi there. Piper Wright, public occurrence. Piper, stop introducing Piper. So hey. who's really in charge of good neighbor these days? Who runs uh, okay. Got up there. But I'll sell you a stake in it. Hundred caps. Wait, no, fifty. Ten? Yeah, thanks. But Okay, come on, Piper. Okay, nothing here. Four. That's a prison. Oh, 
makeshift piper. Get uh, the bejesus out of me. Okay, nothing down here. Okay. Wow. Oh. Ever been to kill or be killed? Probably came. Huh? Huh? Uh, can I use the cooking pot at least? If you wanted to make me a second mm -hmm. cup. I need a carrot and iguana eggs. I don't have that. Hey. Okay, that's the hotel mixer. What kind of twisted, odd, neighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The third rail. Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some gems. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Daisy. Not the Raiders. Hancock's making Not the speech. super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lard head. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! us. At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Of the people. For the people. You should stop by my store during the day. Daisy's discount. Okay. Everything you need for the road. Okay, there's the memory den. That's where we gotta go. Okay. There's the Hotel Rexford. Uh, don't have my hey. hand up. Hey. Okay, let's go to the memory the memory den. Wait a minute, let's see what sorry. I get sidetracked guys. I love the exploring. Your concern. Move it. Okay, you don't want to go in there. Just forget we saw that, guys. Just let's move on. Got a problem? <clears throat> you call that a gun? Oh, shit. It's a gun. Go to the memory bank. In the memory bank, looks like it was an old burlesque. No, maybe. See her after dinner. It's a theater. Scully, Scully Square. Mold day is la Wednesday. Okay. All Vaudeville review. Yeah. Showgirls. Let's see what we have in here. Let's see cocktails until 4 a.m. Then we got girls, girls, girls. Scully Square, best entertainment. Guna beers, get a 
think that's Granite Beers, Beers, new seasonal brews on tap. See your after dinner menu, after theater menu, after dinner menu. Ugh. <sighs> okay, then it just repeats. Oh, here's the member. There's good old Nick. But we can't take any of this stuff. And I don't want to screw it up, so... Well, who the heck? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Sorry about that. I would have gave you a sneeze warning, but that came up. Nikki boy. Nikki. Huh? Nikki. Nikki. Why are you? Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. Who the heck is this? Okay. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Irma, whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? Okay. What the same heck is that? Communion is coming. Communism is coming. Beware the Red Death. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? She looks like she hasn't had gotten any sleep in years. This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary. Pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. 
Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I... Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. That's what I would say. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the impact. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Were you going to say something or not? Were you going to say something or not? All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. And... Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. See you on the other side. <sighs> okay, we're going into this chamber thing. This we're going into some memories. <laughs> Piper, Piper, oh. Brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's still. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be as stable. Just hold on. Hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. Okay. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory. Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna take jet anymore. Oh, I don't have my gun, I can't open my Remember, gun. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I oh, was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Okay. What we're seeing here, this is Kellogg. This is who my whose mind we are in. Mm. He's reading. What's it? Mean? One that comics. Nothing, Connie. 
Okay, that's his mom, mother right there. She didn't love him like a mother should, and the father. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I, I will, Mom. I promise. Okay. We'll let you down. The mother gave him a gun. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There Ooh. appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Okay. Mom didn't love him the way a mother should. She gave him a gun to protect himself. The father was a complete asshole. Sorry for the cursing, but it it's true. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness is. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the sheep. Mm. While standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. Ooh, he put that gun right in his leg. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. It's gonna be fine. Okay, let's move on. There we go. So we got a bad family life. He got married, had a kid. Called Mary. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I 
I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Okay. That better have been in the game. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Okay. He was hired by, looks like, the Institute. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Hmm. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic state. And that's when they took. Our son. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Yeah, that's me. And there's the baby. This is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. I got him! I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. 
What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Okay, now. He should be bring, coming to where they brought him. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Oh, he's got 